Good morning. Good morning. It's the pre-snowy Thursday. Pre-snowy, right, post-snowy Thursday and pre-snowy Thursday. Yeah, because it's supposed to start snowing again this afternoon or tonight or something like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Did you get caught up in any of the... No. Day? Well, what, was it Tuesday when it really hit? Or Mon Monday? I, I don't, Mon oh, it's Monday. Monday. It was Monday. Yes. I was having a bad hair day. Oh, <laughs> Did that contribute to the yes. <laughs> fifty car pile up? Yes. Because yes. Kaylin was <laughs> oh okay. I didn't get on the highway thing, guys. But it was pre, you know, pre needed a haircut. You know, oh yeah. Started out the morning with a bad hair day. You oh know, and just kind of yeah. And I had a few stops to make, so I did those first. And it started getting really hard to get around. Yeah. Because I I stopped and had uh, somebody to go into, and it was just kind of snowy. Mm -hmm. I, by the time I came out, yeah, it was no. dumping. Yes. I'm like <laughs> I made a couple other stops. I'm like, yeah, I'm just working from home today. So yeah. have internet will travel. You know. Yes. Have so, internet will travel as long as your internet and computer are actually working. Yeah, that's a whole other subject. <laughs> I'm having computer problems. So if anybody on here listening is a Mac expert, yes, I could really person. use your help. Because so while I was home on Monday, okay, sometimes I can get a little bit more focused when there's no other distractions around. Yeah. And I'm sitting there working. I'm like, okay, I'm having issues. I'm going to make an appointment yeah. to go take my computer in the next morning. Yes. Okay. So I did. I tried in with my little computer. Help me with this. Yes, because you are that person in this company that should be helping me with this. Right, right? exactly. You're a specialist. You're a specialist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and uh, prior to this, I've been googling and binging and whatever search yes. thing. You, uh, how do you fix this? How do you do this? Trying to do it myself. It's just not working right, and it has something to do with my storage. Um, so I took it in. What do they do? No, they, they googled it. Ah! Like, are you kidding me? You're like, been there, done I that. I only Googled this. So I, I Googled Yahoo binged. I, yes. And I, you're not helping me if you're Googling the answer. Yes, so right. I started trying to delete things because I do one under my hard drive. I do have a backup. I do have a, um, what do you call those external hard drive mm -hmm. and so I'm going on my current hard drive and I'm just deleting stuff because mm -hmm. I can't update because it's out of storage they, isn't there like a way to cloud it instead of like taking your stuff to the cloud instead of it's, anyway so if you're an expert spinning. in that I'm having problems so please help me and she has a Mac I have a Mac I have a MacBook Air and I love it I've had it for five years mm -hmm. great no issues but now I've got a storage issue so and I'm not quite sure how to fix it. So today I was deleting files off of the hard drive and thinking that, well, they're on my Google Drive. So oh, they should still be there. Right. Yeah, I know those are disappearing now too. Oh, yeah. So help. She has got serious problems. I got serious problems. She so needs anyway. help. If you're listening and can help her. I could use some big tips. And don't yeah. Google it and tell me how to do it. Right. So say, well, hey, don't, don't do like the little clip. <laughs> yeah. Snip it. And then yeah. say, here, Kaylin. <laughs> done it and so did my expert they also right. googled it the yeah. experts yeah yeah so yeah when you need an expert yes yeah yeah so you just, when you're buying and you need an expert about can I buy can I buy yeah yeah what does that look like what does it look like because yeah. I think now we, we were talking that the mm -hmm. it has really picked up even with the snow First on time Monday buyers. it is really picked up and um, I think a lot of people that are in those rental contracts too mm -hmm. right yes. now are really starting to think about if they're gonna buy mm -hmm. and getting yep. the process started of course they're also thinking oh then I have to shovel my own stuff. Right? they're like crap yeah. that means yeah. a shovel or a snowblower <laughs> or something yeah I suppose I'm gift for those people right. but yeah so uh, so Which when you give them to them in July and they'll be like why are you giving me this remember back when <laughs> that's right and then it won't snow for the next three years yeah right. So, but yeah, so when they get qualified or pre-approved, so what does that mean when they have a qualification, a pre-qualification or a pre-approval? What's, yeah, what are those differences? What are those differences? Because some people are confused by that. So a pre-qualified, well, that's not quite pre-approved, right? No, it's not. And pre-qualified, so there are some engines out there mm -hmm. that basically allow you to put in the information and it will spit out your pre-qualification okay. letter. Right. Um, and just know that it is the letter that is spit out is as good as the information <laughs> that was put in. So if you kind of fudge. Right. If you fudge or you're like, well, I think this is about what I have mm -hmm. or 
um, my overtime. Well, I get about this much, but maybe mm -hmm. you've only been at your job for three months, but right. we all want to use as much income as possible, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Um, or even on the other side, like I have people that put in their net income and I can use their oh, gross income. Sure. That makes a difference. Um, and so then that actually makes a difference on purchase price. It also makes a difference on if you make too much money for some of the programs, mm -hmm. um, then you don't qualify because of that. Right, but right. Um, but a pre-qualification basically means that you have given information and nobody has really ver probably pulled your credit, but mm -hmm. other than that, it's verified. It, nothing has been verified on your application. Okay. So, so when you get pre-approved then, it, are you, sometimes I've seen what well, it's already been under, gone through underwriting. So what does that mean for on a pre-approval? Yeah, so if you have gone through underwriting, like I always think, especially as I think our market changes mm -hmm. and you're in a multiple offer situation, yep. when you can say, I have met with my lender, I've not only given them my pay stubs mm -hmm. and my W-2s, but my file has already been to an underwriter, mm -hmm. and all I need is a house to go with my approval letter, mm -hmm. your realtor is sitting in a great position to say, mm -hmm. you might have five offers here, but this person has gone through underwriting right. Um, and they are approved, basically pending a house, right, to go with their approval. So underwriters, <clears throat> to me, did you ever watch The Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> behind the curtain. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't look behind the curtain. That, to me, is an underwriter, because you never see them, right? <laughs> so funny. Yeah, because, it, really, because what do they do when they, you say it's gone through underwriting? What is yeah. that man behind the curtain, curtain do? doing? So um, it'll be fun. Actually, my processor and I are headed out to go meet all of our underwriters. Ooh, well, they're real people. Uh, huh? They are real people. Oh, wow. Actually, we love our underwriters. So if you're watching, <laughs> we, we love I'm just our teasing. Um, but they really have. So um, we as loan officers are obviously looking at your income, looking at assets, looking at. So they're another set of eyes, right? They are the final say. Mm -hmm. So they have a list. Um, and they have gone through training galore on even looking for, like we have red flags, right? They're always looking for mm -hmm. and things like yep. that. So they, and we have all kinds of technology now, right? Mm -hmm. That sends yeah. files through things to even pick up some of those items. So they are going through, they're justifying the income, they're reading our findings, which loan program are you on? And they are then coming back. So they're re-looking at all those pay stubs mm -hmm. and saying, yes, I need another one. Or, hmm, look at this. I need a letter of explanation right. behind that. Mm -hmm. um, after they have looked at that, they give us those, what else they might need. Okay. Um, more paperwork. More paperwork. <laughs> um, and then it depends on the loan program, mm -hmm. what that is. Um, and then a lot of times we can get that, and like I said, then turn it back into them. Right. But they are giving the final, that underwriter is giving their stamp of approval. And they're the ones who send you to the closing yep. table. And let me tell you, as as a, an agent working with buyers, if they if the buyer has already gone through underwriting, there are no surprises along the way. There are no surprises. <laughs> and that's so nice because then it's like not all of a sudden, oh my gosh, you know, we have an issue. They need to verified mm -hmm. this verified well that's already been done before right. we get there so all we're doing then is matching the house with the yes. appraisal yes and the so as long as there's no surprises on the real estate right. side of it yep we're usually good unless yeah. you change loan programs throughout mm -hmm. the way or quit your job or buy a truck or <laughs> just <laughs> saying do <laughs> we've already talked about it in another video but we have don't, don't yeah just away. don't do it don't buy that truck even though it looks really nice I yeah no i know yeah. and they get special financing and mm -hmm. all that stuff I know. Buy a yeah. house first. It's yeah. like going on vacation and buying a timeshare. Yes. Don't do that don't either. Do that either. Yes. No, and it all shows up on your credit report. It does. So mm -hmm. just don't think you're trying to trick anybody. Yeah, it happens. So it yeah, so get that pre-approval. Yeah, not just the pre-qual pre-qualification might give you. Mm, okay, I'm kind of there. It gives you kind start. of where you're at. Mm -hmm. It's a great start. Yeah. But that pre, if you're really gonna buy a house, that that pre approval pre like mm -hmm. pre approval is good. But even having that approval is really. Yeah. Um, helpful and I just think it's going to put buyers in a stronger position it as is. you go into some offers. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, for me that I always like to be proactive and having that pre-approval that's already put you through that underwriting process is proactive in that buying process. Right, because I think too mm -hmm. as you now have an accepted offer on a house, mm -hmm. now you're, you're going into it because you've done all this paperwork on the financing mm -hmm. side now you're going into it saying, okay, now I've got a home inspection. I have to get my home insurance. I have, you know, yep. you still have things to do. And it just takes one, it takes some of that paperwork off 
mm -hmm. your plate yes. because now you're really done. focused on the house that you're now buying. And a yeah. seller too, if you look at it, if you, you're looking at offers and you see that that brought buyer is pre-approved mm -hmm. and gone through underwriting, that's a question to ask you, has this buyer mm -hmm. that's wanting to buy, have they gone through underwriting yet? So yeah. that's a good question for sellers to ask your agent too. It yeah. is. And I think that that like surprises, right? So, yeah. I mean, that's, it does take that away. And mm -hmm. so you're also not getting a few weeks into it and then being like, Oh, yeah. like yeah. the sellers that kind of is a right nightmare when it comes to that. It is. Yes. A lot of uncertainty. So yeah. So call us and get pre-approved. Get pre-approved. And it's yes. awesome. I will say too, as we go into the season, if you are thinking about mm -hmm. it, it's that it costs you nothing. And it might take some time, but it, it is less stressful on everybody mm -hmm. if you do it before the house of your dreams is on the yes. market. And Please. there's going to be five offers because the agent already knows that there's mm -hmm. six showings and yep. you want to know and yet you haven't started the process at all. Yep. So it still can be done depending mm -hmm. on timing. No, we will not turn you away. <laughs> But it is less stressful yes. on everybody if you're thinking, hey, you know, I'm just thinking about it because, like I said, there's no, except for some time involved. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and you can get a, a pre-approval done in how many days? So it's, right now, I could probably do it today within yep. a few hours um, because we're rocking along. Mm -hmm. um, come um, May or March, March actually, next month. Yeah. Um, take a little there's a lot more people wanting mm -hmm. a pre-approval. Yep. And so sometimes 24 to 48 hours Yes. Um, for me to give you a pre-approval and then if you want to go into underwriting, sometimes it's another 24 to 48 hours after that. Okay. So if you're thinking of buying mm -hmm. this spring, yes, put that on your to-do list for February, get pre-approved. Yeah. And your approval. So 60 days is typical. Mm -hmm. And then we might have to get an updated pay stub or, you know, mm -hmm. something like Extend that, it. but it's not a big deal and we can wait till you have, and if you never buy anything, think it just costs you some time. It costs you some time. Yep. So, so yeah. Yeah. Well, great. That's good information for that pre-qual or pre-approval. We want you to be pre-approved. We do. Yeah. So much better. It is. <laughs> it's like that stamp of approval. It is. Yeah. Bam. We should have oh. had a stamp. We should have had a stamp. Yeah. Maybe we can stamp the hand of our buyers. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. right. And you can go into <laughs> offers and be yeah. like, we're pre-approved. <laughs> Get out that black light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Secret club. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Not so secret. Yeah. <laughs> So everybody have a great day. Be safe out there if it's snowing where you're at and yeah. uh, drive carefully. Yeah. And uh, Valentine's Day is uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. We'll be so at the, the Philly. We'll be at lunch. lunch. Yes, we will we'll be, be at lunch. We'll be at lunch on Wednesday. Yes, so we will. yeah, our multiple listing service luncheon and affiliate fair. So yeah. uh, we'll be having lunch together next Wednesday. So uh, uh, let's hope everybody my has sweetheart, a sweetheart, Kaylin. Yes. <laughs> It's also Ash Wednesday, so oh, is it? yeah. Oh, well, there you so, go. There you go. <laughs> Lots of things on Wednesday. Oh, so you guys have a great week, and we'll see you next Thursday. See you next Thursday. Bye.